Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about drones. This is the DJI Mavic Mini. It's one of the smallest and cheapest drones that DJI do. I bought it a few months ago at the start of lockdown. I thought I'd learn to fly a drone properly so I can get some nice shots. One of the main reasons I bought it is because it is absolutely tiny. If I compare it to the size of my iPhone 12 Pro, look at that, it is absolutely tiny. It's about the same size, which is great because it means I can put it in my pocket, I can travel with it really easily, it's super light and hassle free. Now I know that everyone always says how amazing it is that drones are this tiny these days, but I thought I'd show you an example of an older drone so you can see really how far they've come. So this is the Mavic Mini, tiny little drone, size of an iPhone, 249 grams. I bought it with the Fly More Combo, which means it comes with a nice little carry case, which is this big. So you can just get your controller and your drone, pop them in the case, and you're ready to go. This is lovely, small, hard shell, so pretty solid. I just pop this in my backpack and I'm ready to go. Let's compare that to a slightly older drone. This is the Phantom 4, a slightly older drone. And as you can see, its case is massive. It is huge. It probably wouldn't fit in an overhead locker in an airplane. You'd probably have to put this in the hold. It is huge. And it's not just the case that's massive, the drone itself, is huge look at that that is massive if i compare that to the little mavic mini the difference is incredible not only is the drone itself massive all of its accessories are also massive so if we get the camera for example just the camera that attaches to the bottom of this phantom 4 is pretty much the same size as the Mavic Mini. That is astounding, how everything has come from this to this. There have been smaller drones since this. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like a Mavic Pro or Mavic Zoom to show you as a comparison. This is the extreme size difference. Let me grab something a little bit smaller. So as you can see, this is a slightly newer Phantom in a much smaller polystyrene box. It's still pretty massive but it is much smaller. The drone is the same size as the previous one I showed you. The battery is slightly shorter, but it's still pretty big and pretty heavy. Still, if you compare it to that, again, it's pretty much the same size. So it's still a pretty big package. Also, I think there was a point when these drones came out that drones got really popular. So a lot of people started buying these. And if you saw someone carrying this in an airport, it's very recognizable, everyone knew what you were up to. Whereas this backpack doesn't even need to go in the carry case, you can just pop it in your pocket or just in your backpack loose. It's got a little guard on the front for the gimbal like that. Once that goes into place, it's pretty secure. You can also buy little bands to put around the propeller so they don't move about. But it is incredible how small this is. However, there are a few issues with this. Obviously, to end up with something so small, you have to sacrifice a few things. Some of those things are range or stability or camera quality. The camera on this is not epic. It shoots in 2.7K, it's not 4K, which is annoying, but I think it's good enough. I've just seen that DJI have announced and released a new Mini 2, which is pretty much the same weight and size of this. Still 249 grams. You can still fly without a license but it shoots in 4K. What I thought I'd do today is take this little drone out to a few different locations and see how it copes in different scenarios. I've only flown it four or five times since I bought it and usually in the same sort of place, the same environment, same weather. 
and it's looked the same every time. So I want to try it in some low light, I want to try it maybe into the forest so I can get some of the autumn colours and see how it performs. Hopefully it will tell me whether or not I should buy the next Mini 2 or whether this is good enough for what I need. I'm back home after spending all day filming with the drone. I'm warming myself up by the fire. I think I got some cool shots with the drone but I haven't gone through any of the footage yet so you'll see it at the same time as I do. What I'm going to do is lay it out on the timeline and show it to you graded and ungraded so you can see the difference there. The footage that you can capture with the Mini isn't usually great for grading, you can't film in log so it's not that easy. But you can make some tweaks to make it look better or worse depending on personal preference, you might hate my grade. So once we've walked through all the footage, I guess I need to decide whether the Mini is enough of a drone for me or whether I should sell it and buy the Mini too. This first shot is just above my house and I filmed this at midday, which meant I had quite good lighting. I think the Mavic Mini does best in well-lit scenarios, so this footage looks pretty good. For my second location, I thought it'd be nice to get some shots over the water. As you can see, there's already less sunlight than the first one, but I'm not seeing too much noise as a result of that. You can still quite clearly see the detail in the waves on the sea and in the boats. It was quite overcast, which I think was helping with having quite consistent lighting. Annoyingly, there was quite a strong sea breeze, as you can see from all the ripples in the water but the drone managed it quite well. There are some shakes occasionally, but overall we didn't have that many wind warnings. saw this bird which I thought would be quite cool to follow. Unfortunately my pilot skills aren't that great so I didn't do a great job of keeping up with it. As the wind dropped off we managed to get a few reflections in the sea which looked quite nice. I definitely think that filming here on a really calm day where there's no wind at all could look really nice, there'd be just reflections everywhere. As the sun began to set I thought it'd be quite nice to go to the woods to get some nice autumnal colours. I think these came out really well and again the drone's not struggling too much with the low light situation so I can't really complain. Something that annoys me about this drone are the limited controls you have in the settings. Everything here is shot in full auto, but as you can see in this shot going from the woods to the sky, it doesn't adapt its settings very quickly I don't think. The sun had pretty much set at this point so I thought it would be cool to get some shots of the sky turning blue in an open field. The field I chose is actually quite close to the folly where I filmed a few vlogs previously. And there's a pretty cool copse, I think it's called, in the middle of the field with some nice shrubbery around it. So I thought that made quite a nice focal point. I did also get a few shots of the folly and there were quite a few birds flying around. They didn't seem to be that perturbed by the drone so they flew right in front of it which makes for some quite nice footage.
It is getting quite dark at this point, so you can see a lot more noise in the image, but I still think it's not too bad for such a small and cheap drone. And finally, just because it was bonfire night when I filmed this and all my neighbors had fireworks across the water, I thought it'd be nice to try and film that. I don't think the drone did a bad job considering it's pitch black at this point. Something that could have been cool here is the zoom function that's on the Mini 2. I think that would have worked really well to try and get a much better shot of these fireworks. I think the footage that I got today showed me that the Mini is enough of a drone for what I need right now. So although 4K is a cool thing to have and I love 4K, I don't think I'm going to buy the Mini 2. I don't think I need it. I don't use my drone that often. When I do use it, it's for YouTube videos and things like that. So I don't think 4K is that important there. And you can probably tell from my footage, I'm very much an amateur drone pilot. I'm not very good at it yet. And I think the Mini is the perfect drone for me to improve on. If you made it this fun the video, then thank you so much for watching. Let me know which location I went to today was your favorite and I'll try and go back there at some point soon. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.